what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai well here you have it folks we finally have chat gpt integrated within minecraft where you can simultaneously run different agents as npcs doing different tasks within the game you're basically completing different tasks in a game with your different agents and this is something that was introduced by a new project that is called voyager which is an open-ended embodied agent with the large language models and it's a research paper that introduces a groundbreaking agent that's capable of continuous exploration skill acquisition as well as novel discover uh, discoveries within the world of minecraft now Unlike previous approaches that require human intervention, Voyager operates fully autonomously, leveraging the power of large language models to enhance its capabilities. And this is something that we're going to be focusing on in today's video. Before we actually get into the gist of the video, in today's video, we're going to be covering the flowchart of this project, as well as how you can actually operate it on your own local desktop. I'm going to be showing you guys a breakthrough as I mean, a follow through as to how you can install it locally on your desktop, as well as showing you a little bit more about this project by going a little bit deeper on its research paper. So guys, if you guys haven't followed my Twitter page, please do so if you haven't already. There's a lot of content and a lot of value that you'll definitely benefit from. So definitely give this a follow as I'll be posting the latest AI news over here please subscribe guys if you guys haven't already turn on the notification bell like this video as it would really mean the world to me guys and if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos it would also be really really i would also appreciate it a lot guys if you guys can do so and with that thought let's get right into the video so you might be wondering why are we covering this actual topic well imagine an agent that can explore a world and acquire diverse skills and makes groundbreaking discoveries on its own this is something that we've been trying to accomplish with NPCs as well as autonomous AI agents to complete different types of tasks that don't require any human intervention. And this is where the topic as well as the research paper of Voyager comes in. This is the first ever embodied lifelong learning agent within this sandbox game of Minecraft. And it's powered by immense capabilities of large language models. Now, this is why we're going to be taking a look at this because it's quite like extraordinary to see something like this being introduced in this day and age guys because this will be quite revolutionary and quite innovative in the future world of ai and further into the topic of this video as we take a look at some of the components as well as the flow charts that describe what this actual paper is now let's actually take a look at this flow chart to get a better understanding of how this actual application operates well, Voyager, as we know, is an advanced agent in the field of artificial intelligence, and it's composed of three critical components. Now, the first component is the automatic curriculum, and this is designed specifically for open-ended exploration. Now, this means that Voyager has the ability to autonomously select tasks and objectives that foster continual learning and discovery. We can see over here, you're able to mine a woodlock. You're able to start crafting the table that is required to create the combat tools to kill this uh, mob. I forgot what it was. It's a zombie. And then from this, you can use the required skills as well as the required experiences to get to the next stage where you can start mining diamonds. Voyager has the ability to autonomously select tasks and objectives that foster continuous learning. Now, by dynamically adapting to its actual exploration strategies, what Voyager does is that it maximizes the abilities of the understanding of the environment that it has to expand its knowledge base. The second component of Voyager is its skill library, and this houses to the repertoire of increasingly complex behaviors that are acquired from its previous stage of the automatic curriculum. As the agents keep working in its lifelong exploration phase, it then continuously adds upon its skill library. Now, this library serves as a repository for executable code that Voyager can access and utilize to interact with the surroundings effectively. Now, as Voyager acquires new skills, it continuously enriches its skill library, which enables it to tackle more distinguished tasks as well as solving complex problems with ease. Now, to facilitate its learning and improvement, Voyager employs an iterative 
prompting mechanism as its third key component. Now this mechanism utilizes as well as leverages the code as an action space, which provides a structured framework for the agents to follow. Now by incorporating feedback from the environment, it recognizes execution errors as well as engages in self verification. And what this does is that Voyager continuously refines its program through these previous steps. Now this process of refinement allows Voyager to enhance its performance overcome challenges and it makes it improve upon its abilities over time as it continuously takes on different skills as well as as it goes towards exploring different tasks within the world of minecraft now by combining these three components voyager becomes powerful and an adaptable agent the automatic curriculum fuels its exploration, which ensures that it remains engaged and continuously acquires new knowledge. The skill library equips Voyager with a diverse range of capabilities, which enables it to perform different types of complex tasks. Now, meanwhile, the iterative prompting mechanism guides its decision making and refines its progress, leading to a continuous improvement and enhanced problem solving abilities. Now, through the integration of these com three components, Voyager showcases remarkable advancements in autonomous AI agents. Now, I want to take a step back and go back to overviewing the skill library as it's a crucial component of Voyager's architecture. And this way, if we get a better idea of how this operates within the skill library, we can get a better idea of how this actual application is able to function. Now, it empowers the agent with a diverse range of capabilities. And this is something that we talked about in the previous flowchart as the skill library follows a two step process where it adds a new skill and it retrieves relevant skills when it's facing a new task. To add a new skill, Voyager indexes each skill based on the embedding of its description. This indexing allows Voyager to retrieve sim similar skills in future simulations where they might be applicable for the use case. Now, by leveraging the power of embedding, Voyager can actually associate with skills as well as specific context of scenarios. And this basically enables it to recall and apply them appropriate appropriately within the actual situation. Now, when it's presented with a new task proposed by automatic curriculum, Voyager then can indicate a skill retrieval process and through this it basically cues the agent to identify the top five relevant skills from the actual skill library and that are like basically most likely useful for that actual case and this retrieval mechanism me mechanism basically ensures that Voyager can quickly access the appropriate skills to address novel challenges. Now, one notable aspect I want to talk about is that the skill library is actually able to synthesize complex skills by composing similar programs. And this is by creating these programs so that it can combine smaller foundational programs so that Voyager can create more instincts to basically condense the behaviors and process the skills so that the composition allows Voyager to rapidly compound the capabilities over time. Now, as Voyager continues to acquire and synthesize these new skills, it becomes increasing, increasingly versatile and proficient in tackling complex tasks. So basically, it gets smarter on its own as the AI agent continuously explores, builds, and gains new skills within the game of Minecraft. Now, basically, if you're able to apply this to a real-life application in the future, we're going to see some scary stuff, guys, because AI can... Uh, this basically achieves artificial general intelligence and that would be quite scary and at some point we're gonna have to impose some sort of restrictions as to what these agents can do because if this gets developed any further we can see some types of like limitations that we might need to impose because it could get really scary but that's a whole different topic but let's get to the next focus where we talk a little bit more about the iterative prompting mechanism in this component, there's two key aspects that come into play, the environmental feedback as well as the execution error handling. Now these components are illustrated in these two scenarios in this figure right here, which basically involves GPT-4. And it showcases how Voyager is able to adapt to these actions based on real-time information as it utilizes GPT-4 to actually help you in these scenarios. Now, in this first image, we can see that GPT-4 receives environmental feedback and that 
prompt is used to make an adjustment in the decision making process. Now specifically GPT-4 realizes that it needs two additional planks before it proceeds to actually creating the actual planks or the actual crafting sticks. And this feedback serves as a crucial cue for Voyager, which allows it to recognize and address the immediate requirements to gather more planks before continuously working towards crafting the next process. Basically, these examples underscore Voyager's capability to leverage environment feedback as well as self-identifying execution errors to improve its decision making. Basically makes the agent even smarter so that it can uh, utilize whatever mistakes that are made in the previous scenarios to not make it in the future scenarios. And it just goes to show that it continuously grows and gets smarter as it makes more errors. Now, in this component of the blog, it focuses on the map coverage analysis, which reveals a significant advantage held by Voyager. And this is over the baseline agent in terms of navigating and exploring Minecraft maps. Now, when comparing bird's eye views of the maps, Voyager coverage is extended over a distance of 2.3 times longer compared to its baseline. Now, Voyager's exceptional map coverage can be attributed to its ability to transverse various terrains and environments effectively the agent displays a remarkable capability to venture beyond local areas we can see that it can go further into different areas to continuously discover new knowledge and explore uncharted territories now i don't know if you guys know but in the game of minecraft there's certain dungeons as well as certain biomes that you can't really get in the close vicinity of where you spawn you need to vast out into different regions and this basically shows that the agent is able to extensively utilize the map trans travel feature in which it can remarkably travel to different areas to discover new knowledge and new skills the zero shot generalization capability of voyager is a remarkable feature that sets it apart from its baseline agents this capability allows Voyager to apply its learned skills and knowledge to previously unseen tasks without any additional training. This evaluation of its capability involves clearing Voyager's inventory, resetting its newly initiated world, and testing it to different unseen tasks. Now, in, in the like, provided table, we can see that the fractions indicate the number of successful trials out of these total runs for each task. The number presented represents the averaging of prompts iteration over three trials. A lower number of iteration indicates a more efficient method. Now, the results clearly demonstrate that Voyager has exceptional performance in solving all unseen tasks consist consistently. Now, in contrast, the baseline fails to actually solve any task while within like 50 prompting iterations and it highlights that the limitations of traditional approaches in zero shot generalization and this basically shows how voyager has been able to efficiently and effectively go towards different types of skills as well as unseen tasks way better than compared like to the other baseline types of projects such as react reflection as well as auto gpt and this is quite amazing as to what they've been actually able to accomplish Alright guys, let's get into the next focus of this video where we talk about the installation. Now, to run Voyager, you're going to actually require the Python update that's greater than 3.9 version, as well as node.js, which is greater than this version. Now, what you want to do is have git installed, which is a cloning or repository type of application. And what you can do after you have that installed, you just want to copy this link, go onto your command prompt, search it up. What you want to do is type in git clone and place the link and press enter. What this will now do is it will start cloning the repository onto your desktop. Obviously, once you have that done, you can then go into the next actual command prompt where you go into the actual folder of Voyager. And this is by copy and pasting this and clicking enter. Once you are in this actual application you can copy this next code where you start installing the repository onto your desktop and this is by unpacking the files that you just downloaded onto your desktop and once you have done that you can start installing node.js now in terms of what you want to do next after you install each prompt line i'm not going to be doing this because it's quite extensive and it takes a lot of time but once you have finished installing each line of code you can then go on to the next part where you're going to be starting to install the instances and this basically there's an actual tutorial on how to do that and you can just click it over here to show you how to get started 
and then you need, might need to also install the fabric mods and this is the mods that support all the feature of voyager so once you have installed these mods it's fairly easy you just got to go into the dot minecraft folder you type in percent app data percent once you're there you go into the mod folders you unpack the mods that you just downloaded into that folder and you'll be able to easily run the mods easily once you have that installed you can go on to the next part where you get started and this basically utilizes open api's gpt4 feature as its language model and this is where you'll need to provide an open api key as to use voyager's large language model as well as i mean sorry to utilize the, the voyager's large language model to actually have it autonomously run in the background and you can basically input that in your .n folder and once you have that saved you can start and resume from the checkpoint during learning and that is easy as that guys it might look quite like hard to do and set up but it's fairly easy and if you want me to make a video on how you can actually do this i can definitely make a video and showing you guys as to running my own autonomous ai agent in the future so with that thought guys i hope you found this video quite informative and you got some sort of idea as to what voyager is now in conclusion this project is something that's quite revolutionary and it's going to be quite amazing to see these different ai agents being innovated and in different games as well as in real life scenarios so it's quite amazing as to what voyager and the team has been able to accomplish so i hope you found this video quite informative and you got some sort of value out of it now if you guys haven't followed please do so as it would mean the whole world to me guys so definitely give this a follow uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so because I'm going to be continuously posting every single day and I'll be posting the latest AI news so that you're up to date in the AI world. Now, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, it would mean the whole world to me guys if you guys can do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from. And with that thought, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out, fellas.